twist of fate can place someone in a strange place so sudden so unexpected oh in a desolate place you were left so confused Oh, Chief Johnson, what a pleasant surprise. Please come over here and join me. <laughs> Magnus, I didn't come here for pleasantries or food. I came to collect the documents to the printing company. Um, Chief Johnson, I don't know why you're so keen about getting those documents. Well, be that as it may, I want to repeat what I said the first time you brought this up. I will not release the document to my company, to you or to any other person. You are an ingrate. I helped you set up that business. It belongs to me. I will have those documents whether you like it or not. Um, well, um, Johnson, when I came to you that I had a business idea, needed your financial assistance, you helped me as a friend. We, were, we never had any agreement that I was going to hand my business over to you when it started booming. There was nothing like that. And this thing, Johnson, if you want me to pay back the money you gave me to set up my business, I will do that. As for my business document, that will be over my dead body. Now, Johnson, let me have those documents. Or I'll, I'll wipe out your entire family. Don't sing. It has not come to this. Please put away the gun. Yes. I will give you the documents. This house. Anything. Please let my family leave. Now go inside and get those documents. I am giving you two minutes to do that. Else I'll kill your wife and come for you and your daughter. Please, don't kill her. Please. Yes. And you, move over here. I say, move over there.
with every color in the house. It seems the bastard has escaped. Go and search the backyard now. Okay, sir. Nowhere to be found. The bastard is gone. Are you sure of what you're telling me? Did you search everywhere thoroughly? I searched every nook and cranny of this compound. No sign of him or his daughter. It's not over. Magnus, it is not over. I shall find you. Let's go. Did they kill mommy? Yes. I will not see mommy again. Sweetheart, it's okay. Stop crying. 
worry. It's okay. We shall be well, yeah? It's okay. You see, hold on to this box. Hold on to it. Let me go and get a taxi. I'll be right back. Eh? Daddy, I'm scared of this place. Holy me cannot be here. Sweetheart, nothing will happen to you here. Yeah? You are safe here. Yeah? Eh? I won't stay longer. Eh? I'm coming. See? Okay. me to wait for him. In the bush, here? Eh? Yes. Where did he go? He went to go and find a tizen and he asked me to wait for him. You can't stay here. This place is dangerous. Eh? I will take you to a place where you'll be safe. Okay?
Let you awake. Just get up so they can eat something, okay? Eh? Where am I and where is my daddy? Mm. Sweetheart, I found you in the bush. And you were alone when I saw you. My daddy was in the bush and he gave me his bus and asked me to stay there. My daddy will be looking for me now. I need to go back to the bush. You can't go to the bush now. It's late, but I'm promising you something. First thing tomorrow morning, I will take you to that bush so that you can see your daddy, okay? Okay. Is that okay? Good. I want you to relax. I'm going to get you something to eat, okay? Good care. I'll be back. Faster, join us. So let's get out of here. Let's let's leave here. Oh, oh maybe she wants us to unload the fish. Eh? Wrap her inside this tree and carry her home. Lazy girl. She people don't even have pity on someone. Eh, madam, shut up. I've been working on this tree for the past one hour. It's not fair. Point of correction. Not you. All of us. Ayincha have been working for the past one hour. Eh? If we pity you, who is going to pity both of us? Uh, maybe the spirits now. Come, let's go, Joe. It's not fair. Listen. It's not fair. If you like, you stay there. Or your OYO is your case. We have to go. You're on your own. You know, let's go. You put your wait for me now. Wait! Girls are just coming in, and you're crying of hunger already. Eh? Mama, if you know where I work from, eh, you just pity my life, is you? Did you work alone? Mama, hmm? are you sure that the nurse did not hit Sarah's head against the wall the day she was born? Because her brain is upside down. Mama, I can only do this. You know, notice. Okay. No. Oh, Mama. You didn't even cook anything. 
food is inside. Yeah. Mm? I'm coming. Okay. Okay. Go, go. go inside and find out. Only me. to see you. Mira, I really don't like people budgeting on me, especially when I'm very busy. I'm uptight right now with work. As you can see. For God's sake, I'm your fiancé. I you can come to see you anytime I want. Though you're my fiancé, does that make you lose your sense of reasoning? Come on, Mira, you should be more mature than this. But your dad said we're getting married soon. Hey! My dad said what? Well, for your information, I have no idea that my dad is about to take a second wife. And even if he wants to take a second wife, how does that affect the price of petrol? Listen, woman, I am busy. And that's the door. Please use it. I don't know where your problem is! I just know! It's okay. Stop doing this to yourself. Mom, how can you tell me it's okay? Chacha was so rude to me today. He said all kinds of so crushing things to me that I practically died. Yes. <sighs> you went to his office to remind him of an engagement he's obvious of. What do you expect? Men hate to be ambushed. Even if I had gone to his office to put a ring on his finger, that isn't enough reason for him to treat me like that. I thought Dad told him. No, no. But he intends doing that tonight. Yes. Oh my God. Mom. I love him. I want to be his wife. I want to have his kids. No. I want to have his kid. His kid? Chesa is as stubborn as the mole. I just hope he's going to listen to dad. Hopefully. Father, I'm not a grown up man. And if I want a wife, I can choose one for myself. I have a mind of my own. Mira is my friend's daughter, and she has a solid background. I think she can make a good wife. Unfortunately, those are not my criteria of choosing a good wife. And if you care to know, I like Mira as a person, and I have a lot of respect for her. But as a wife, no, 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 no. She's not my kind of woman. And what is your kind of woman? Is it that cheap street girl with very poor upbringing that doesn't have any type of pedigree? Is that your kind of woman, Cheta? Well, I'm indifferent from what you think. Because once my woman can find her way around the kitchen, her background and upbringing are inconsequential to me. They're irrelevant. Why can't you ever be like your brother for once? I chose Ella for him, and he accepted her wholeheartedly without any type of complaint. But for you, you complain on just about everything. I'm a man. I thought he's just a puppet. And what good has that done for you in business? I am a man. Alozier is a puppet. The same Alozier you keep castigating has been doing better than you in business. I handed over to you a business worth over one billion. You couldn't do anything to make that business grow financially. Rather, you became a Father Christmas. With my hard-earned money, expressing benevolence to talents you pick out on the street. Is that how you want to live, Cheta? <laughs> oh 
Oh my God, Dad, you do very good as a comedian, trust me. You amuse me seriously. But let me tell you something, Dad. You seem to forget very fast, but I'll recall you back. When you handed over Chess Limited to me, it was seven years down on the tax evasion. And the tax people were beating down on us and they were ready to nail us down at the slightest mistake. I paid that money. I brought us back to life, single-handedly. Before you handed the same company to me, you laid off a lot of workers, graduating or even salary. I paid them. You know why? Those people have families to feed. Cheta, do you know how I had to pull out my finger just to succeed in life? You are just a fool that doesn't know anything good about business. I think we're not going anywhere with this discussion. And I want to let you know that if your idea of business is the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer, I'm totally unrepentantly ignoramus in that regard, sir. It was nice talking with you, Dad. Right to you. It's your normal pattern. You're walking away on your back. What else can you do? Fool? Big fool. The biggest fool in the whole world. Alex, why is that all the time your fish is always bigger than ours? Why? No. Because I'm the older. Yeah. Alice, we just want more though. Just only one though. You go buy the one month for my get. Eh? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it easy? Okay. So because of one, one, one month gap, it's not even up to one and a half months. You will not be taking larger portion of everything in this house. Mm. I said it. Mama! I've confirmed it though. I said it though. I've just confirmed that the nurse is hit Sarah's head on the stone. Look, if you touch my fish, I will use it and blind you. Nurse is hit her head on the wall. I told you, I just confirmed it. Me and I. Uh, At least you better stop that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that though. Uh, what is it, sir? The fact is, three men that I'm older than two of you. So I always get the bigger one. No, I have to go wrong. You cannot change it. Good day, Dad. Good day, Mom. Get a come back here. Dad, I really understand the fact that. I'm your son, and you're my dad, and I still live under your roof. But I, I desire that you treat me with some level of respect. I'm a man now. Cheta, you are my son, and I have the right to talk to you any way that pleases me. All right, sir. Please yourself. Cheta, obey your father, please. Okay? I want to talk to you. Mm. Uh, well, if he's about Mary, I'm not interested. Thank you. Cheta, have you ever thought of why I chose Mira for you and Ella for your brother, Alozia. Apparently, you haven't. The father of those two girls owns the biggest share in one of my companies. So, if you and your brother could marry those girls, their father's shares, which is under their name, now becomes ours. Don't you get it? Oh my God, it's a, that you're so unbelievable. Well, listen to your husband. Must everything be about business? About you and the way you want it. My life, Chetan's life, our relationship, everything. That enough of this. Come on. Everything I do, I do it for the benefit of this family. Sir, stop lying. Is there enough, enough of this life? Enough. What is it? Your everything you do, you do to cover up your selfish interest. Darling, please, please. please Mom, leave, that's leave, enough. leave him, leave him. Let, let him break my head for speaking the truth. Or he's my father. If he wants to kill me, kill me. Kill me. That's enough. Now go to your room. I said, go to your room now. Cheta, as long as you live under my roof, you eat my food, you work in my company, you must do whatever I ask of you. You better get that in your big skull. You don't like it? Go get your own place and set up your own business. I will talk to you. I will. You better. I will.
Cheta, 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 please. You need to calm down. Okay. Mom, you see, you see how he spoke to me. You see what he said to me out there. Did you see that? Yes. And you heard him. Please. Well, let me tell you the truth. Hi. If not for you, Mom, I would have long left this place. Run far away from him. As a matter of fact, even leave his company. Go somewhere, even if I have to start afresh. You will I've, leave. I, yes, I've had it up, it up up to here, Mom. Huh? You will leave. Yes. What about your inheritance? Who will he leave it for? Mommy can shove it wherever he wants to. I don't care. After Aloze is his favorite son, so he can will everything to Aloze. No, no. Cheta, no. You will get what is rightfully yours. And Aloze will get his. Okay? But mom, I've had enough of that. I, I, I mean, that should understand that I'm an adult. Eh? He, he shouldn't, I shouldn't be bullied into what he wants. See? Cheta, sit down. <laughs> Mom, I cannot be bullied into marrying a girl I do not love. My dear, for my sake and for peace sake, marry the girl your father has chosen for you. Please. Mom, I will not be bullied marrying a girl that I do not love. I do not love Mira. Marriage should not be under compromise. And that should realize that I'm an adult. And I have a right to my decision. My dear, Mira is a beautiful girl. And she loves you. What else could you possibly want from a woman? Mom, love. I want to love somebody and be loved in return. Marriage is beyond the facial beauty and the body structure. Your mother knows all that. Okay? Please, Shata. Do it for me. For your mother. Fortune and fame, they'll inflict so much pain. 